Good morning. It's an absolutely beautiful day, isn't it? Well, indeed, I'm very pleased to be joining you. The Prime Minister uh, can do a great Brexit deal. Thank you. Well, I really think that people's fears are unfounded and you can make a great, great success of this. I'm going to pass Brexit. I'm going to make sure that Brexit happens. You won. We won. <laughs> I can tell you the whole Cabinet is united. This is good. We are, have come today to a positive future for the UK. Totally agree with that analysis. My grandfather thinks this town is cursed. People disappear six times the national average. Well, I thought Boris would be a, a good foreign secretary, but subsequently decided to step down from his role. And then what? It just goes into hibernation? For a little while, at least. I saw something. Yeah, I saw him too. The clown. What needs to happen is there needs to be a change of policy. Well, I am working to get a good deal. That's not saying much. My message to the Labour Party is that they should stop playing politics with Brexit. My message to my party is let's come together and get the best deal for Britain. Now, pip pip and tell you, my good fellows. I will continue to argue for what I think is the right way forward. I can't do this. There are one or two things that Boris said that I am cross about. There is time to chuck checkers. Do not believe that we can somehow get it wrong now. Bodge it now and fix it later. It wants to divide us. Boris has strong views in Brexit, but so do I. We can't pretend it's going to go away. Well, first of all, there's one thing we all know about Boris, is that he'll put on a good show. You're insane! <laughs> People talk about the sort of Brexit. Is it hard, soft? Is it grey, white? Actually, we want a red, white and blue Brexit.